apocalyptic weapon, Abomination, Lord of Futile Memories, Pure Evil. Its sole purpose is the downfall of the world soul. That's the description of Souls RNG's rarest aura, Oblivion. But how did we get here? Well, we can learn all of this from Oblivion's cutscene, which each frame is self-holding important details. So let's take a look. Thank you for subscribing on the last video and because of this, we're going to be doing a 3 game pass giveaway. Just comment down your username, what game pass you want, and of course subscribe, yada yada yada. Now let's begin. The first image we see of Oblivion is an eye in the center with some runic text outlining it. Now what aura does this point to? Well of course, impeached, but not in the way you think. You see, what a lot of people don't notice about this aura is that the fact that the runic text doesn't refer to impeached, but instead one of its abilities, which if you guys remember is called the Sword of Betrayal. Now, as you can see from this sword, upon closer inspection of its ability, when the sword strikes down, it leaves a sigil eerily similar to the weapon of betrayal's impact, aka impeached ability. Now, you might ask, why is the sword called the Sword of Betrayal? Well, this is because the aura impeached is indeed a fallen ruler, as mentioned many times. We can also see a sword stab through impeached, but by whom? Find this, we actually have to go back in time when no one had oblivion and see its leaked cutscene. Now, when we play it, things remain similar, but wait, look at the text. It clearly says, have you seen my last memory? Now I don't even have to explain this. Do I? So let's take a look at a Void Potion exclusive aura as well, Memory. This is considered a follower of Oblivion or a mere speck of existence by its influence. It does not engage in any actions, but its mere presence is extremely deadly as it can strip away the will of both living and non-living things without distinguishing between them. If you have encountered it, know it's already too late. Now as you can see here, two things. Memory is indeed an evil aura and was created by Abomination, however, a Upon closer glance, the text extremely deadly is highlighted in maroon. Now what order does this point to? I'll give you three seconds. Now, if you thought Bloodlust, you'd be correct. Bloodlust also comes later in this video, but as its foundation, memory is indeed inspired off Bloodlust and Oblivion to be a wicked warrior to do abominations or Oblivion's bidding, which will make more sense later. Now, we have the first part out of the way, but what about the 20 more? Well, if we roll the clip forward, we get to see a reference to the sun for a very brief duration, perhaps as relief. But there is nothing important here, so let's move on. Now, if we roll the clip forward just a little bit again, we see a reflection of Hades looking right back at us. Now let's take a look at Hades lore description which reads, It has been shaped as the ruler of hell a long time ago, though not replicated perfectly, it still remains cruel and callous. Now there is indeed nothing major about this other than the fact that if you play close attention, it says this was replicated, which means that this is not Hades true form, which lies somewhere else, perhaps for us to discover somewhere long into the future in another era. Next we get to see a reflection of Abyssal Hunter's three fins however the story gets deeper so let's keep moving wait is that celestial divine oh! While well, chat, if you pay close attention, Celestial Divine is a form of Celestial, right? Which is lore description reads, a holy being that descended from heaven. Now hold up, Celestial descended from heaven, why? But that's only a distraction towards a better question. Why is there a question mark after heaven? I mean, that makes no sense. While well, chat, that is because Celestial is indeed a fraud and evil, or so we think. Now moving on, we see a familiar face. Now I won't let you guys guess what this one is because it is fairly confusing, so I'll just go ahead and say that this cutscene part is indeed bloodlust. Designs have some huge similarities, so it is good to rule out that it is indeed bloodlust. Now moving on, we get put on the wrong track and we see Solar Solstice. But why? I mean, what does this even mean? Well, let's read Solar Solstice's description and it reads, it was made with the sunshine by an unknown being on a bright day. But why? You see, the number seven, which is behind the Solar Solstice aura, holds a very important significance in many cultures. For now, we'll just say that there are seven seas and seven continents, among many other seven things. For example, the jackpot gauntlet requires like 777 jackpots to make, right? So even the number seven is important in Souls RNG. So this aura can also be seen as some sort of relief from all the other evil auras we have been seeing. 
But now let's get back into reality, number 8, which again is Bloodlust, and to be honest, there is nothing major about this, so well let's continue on to number 9 and 10, which appear to be good auras. Now again, these two numbers, 9 and 10, send the aura cutscene, or the aura itself, into confusion, ruling it unreadable for the rest of the cutscene, however, I wanted more answers, and honestly, after slowing down the footage, there wasn't much, but then I found something crazy. You see, there is these wings before the explosion, do you know what these wings are well i'm not gonna give you guys time to guess because i'm excited but it's archangel these wings take heavy inspiration from archangel itself from design i'll throw up an image but as you can see that's the last decipherable aura and then it just explodes into you guessed it oblivion oh wait 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 how did we get here i mean we got all our information but now we need to put it all together now you see what i believe is oblivion is indeed a spell but how can you say this you might ask well chat you see oblivion shares a lot of similarities to arcane dark Let's check out the rings themselves. Now, what is Arcane Dark? Well, its lore description states this is a result of intervening darkness into a powerful spell capable of bringing destruction that could devastate civilizations in an instant. This dreadful entity, no longer a mere spell, now is a sentient being, destined to bring down destruction and chaos upon the world according to its own will. Now, you notice that some evil god, and most likely due to abomination, and made it corrupt, and now it's corrupt on its own will. Now, this is important because Oblivion has a similar story except it was made to defeat soul. Now what do we make of this? Well, we can say that some unknown person was experimenting. To what you might ask? Well chat, this is where things get kind of crazy. You see chat, it was a jester. Yeah, yes, yes, you guys heard that right. It was a jester, right? And now, why do I say this? Well, first of all, the jester is a source of to all these potions that can unlock the oblivion potion, right? Now, a jester is someone who entertains people, right? However, around the 13th century, jesters entertain monarchs. Yes, Chat, I'm talking about the monarch aura, right? So basically, the jester doing his duties as a good joker was making jokes, and of course, this was one of his tricks. Now, as we know, the jester does have a history of making potions, right? He we did get introduced a lot of potions in Souls RNG. I'll throw up a list, right? Of course, so we can assume that the jester himself is very powerful and can create potions similar to Stella. And while he's experimenting to show the monarch or the monarch aura, he creates something deadly. Now remember how I said it showed Archangel before? Well, that's because this joke got out of hand and indeed was defeated by Archangel. Now since the aura Oblivion is a fuse of many evil auras, which include Bloodlust, Abyssal Hunter, Hades, auras like that, therefore at some point, the aura itself was getting overloaded by evil and it became oblivious to what was happening to him, right? Which means lack of remembrance or lack of memory thus leaving the aura oblivious making him oblivion anyways yeah that's all for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed this little theory i've been cooking up it was pretty entertaining to make anyways i'll see you guys later